We all want friends. We know, don't we, that we need friends. And we do because God created us for relationship. We are created in the image of God, designed to live in relationship with God and with one another. When we were kids, friends were the priority in our lives. We wanted to be with our friends all the time. Friendship, fun, the future, that's what our lives revolved around. But as we grow up, friendships become harder, harder to find and maintain, and, and they're also just different. It's not as simple as playing basketball or swimming in someone's pool. We want more as our responsibilities increase and the desires of our hearts, they change. As a follower of Christ, as a Christian, what does this look like? What does a godly friendship look like? Let me give you just a few marks of a godly friendship. Godly friendships are marked by honesty. We all desire to be fully loved, and in order to be fully loved by another, we have to be truly known. A friendship centered in Christ is one in which we confess our sins and then love one another despite our differences, failings, or struggles that we may have. Godly friendships are also marked by joy. Friendship with others is a good gift. Scripture is full of commands to sing, worship, and celebrate God, and it is always together. Friendship is fun. Laughing, playing, and rest, these things are not just for childhood. We need them as adults too, and God delights when we celebrate the good gifts He has blessed us with. But godly friendships are also marked by suffering. Our world is full of sin and suffering. Jesus has rescued us from the consequences of our sin, but we still live in this time when our sin is present and suffering is real. When we face suffering, our friends are so often the way that we experience the care and love of Christ as they cry with us, provide for us, and speak hope into our hearts. Finally, godly friendships are marked by purpose. Friendships are fun in the good times and essential in the hard times, but they also have an eternal purpose. God uses other disciples in our lives, particularly those who know us completely, to help shape us into the image of His Son so we can look and love more like He does. And in these friendships, as we seek God together, we are on mission together to show others the love of Christ and the beauty of His kingdom. Maybe you're thinking, well, that sounds great, but it's not that easy. And you're right. Friendship takes risk and it takes time, but there are simple ways to take a first step or open a door. You start by joining a small group, attending an event or a forum, or taking a chance and reaching out to someone at church. And pray, pray that God would bring people that you need into your life. He is always faithful. Godly friendship is truly worth finding. It is worth the risk and the time to find friends, friends who can truly know you and love you, who will laugh with you in joy and cry with you in suffering and ultimately lead you closer to God.